Yale will binge 100 lessons to mastering time management. Lesson 24, the 3333 method of healthy eating. Hello everyone, my name is Ye Wu Bin from Yi Shaneng. I am so happy to be with you now at 6 a.m. on the Shimalaya app. For those of you who have been following my lessons, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome aboard. I am so happy to have you with us. Time is man's scarcest resource. Once it's used, it can never be regained. So if you're not using your time effectively, or if the time you are spending is only getting you further away from your dreams in life, then stay with me. Listen a while, and I am confident I can help open your eyes to a new path that will get you closer to your dreams. I want to remind you that there are 100 classes in this album, and every class lasts about 6 minutes. It is updated at 6am New York City time each morning. You already know that the basis of time management is energy management. And you know that the basis of energy management is managing one's cadence and rhythm. After we've mastered the habits of sleeping well and then have been exercising, we can then focus on the next piece, eating. In today's society, most poor health is due to two things, lack of exercise and eating the wrong things. We all learned about the healthy food pyramid, but few people successfully follow it, and this is a problem, a habit problem. Therefore, today we will talk about the kind of diet we need to maintain our energy levels. So what does it mean to have a healthy diet? Well, there are four criteria. First, eat enough protein. Second, control your blood sugar level. Three, control your hunger. And four, don't eat too much at each meal. So how specifically do we achieve each of these four core principles of healthy eating? Protein, blood sugar level, hunger, and eating the right quantities at each meal. Here's what I recommend. First, pay attention to the quantity and quality of of food you eat at each meal. Eat healthy in the morning, eat fully at noon, and eat little at night. Healthy in the morning, fully at noon, little at night. If the order is reversed and you eat more at night like most people do, then the quality of your sleep will be poor. If you do not eat properly in the morning, you will not be able to work efficiently because your blood sugar will be depleted by noon. 80% of the glucose, or blood sugar, in our bodies must be supplied to the brain. Therefore, if you do not eat well in the morning and you experience hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugar, then your brain won't operate well. So it's very important to maintain a healthy balance of blood sugar. It's very important for a healthy diet to eat the right kinds and quantities of food at the right time. Second, pay attention to the type of food you eat. We eat three meals a day, and I recommend you divide every meal into four parts. The four parts are energy grains, colorful fruits and vegetables, meat protein, and non-meat protein. That's energy grains, colorful fruits and vegetables, meat protein, and non-meat protein. So most people today eat refined or white rice and flour every day, but eat very little grain. Refined rice and flour are processed by the body very quickly and release glucose immediately, which leads to a spike of glucose, followed by a sharp decline in our blood sugar levels. Coarse grains, on the other hand, are more difficult to digest and therefore are digested much more slowly, providing a continuous and steady stream of glucose over a period of time. Therefore, eating unrefined and coarse grains will supply glucose to us throughout the afternoon and well into the night. A second concept to focus on is how much we eat and how many fruits and vegetables we should eat. The proper balance of fruits and vegetables gives us vitamins and minerals we need to boost energy levels. At the same time, we have to eat enough proteins. We can get this from milk and beans. Now many of us will try to eat additional protein from meat, which contains a lot of fat So I recommend getting that protein from other sources than meat if possible. Three meals a day, four parts to every meal. Protein, blood sugar, hunger quantity. And my father's blood sugar was high. I helped him control his blood sugar by teaching him how to change his diet. And you can do it too. I have asked traditional Chinese doctors as well as Western doctors and both believe in this diet. Three meals a day, 
four parts per meal, but how much of each part should we have? I'll tell you. A fistful of energy grain, a fistful of colorful fruits and vegetables, a fistful of non-meat proteins, and only a small palm-sized amount of meat. Keep the meat to a minimum. Now let me talk to you about the powerful 3-3-3-3 method. Each meal should include the four parts, grain, fruits and vegetables, non-meat and proteins like nuts and beans, and a small amount of meat proteins. Think of the four digits in 3333 as each of these portions in one meal. Now, think that each of these portions can be one of several different kinds of food and that they can be cooked in different ways. There are three different ways we can think of the food and how they are cooked. Think of them like a traffic light. Red light cooking is high in oil, salt, sugar, and calories. Red means stop. Stop eating this way. Yellow light is slightly higher in oil, sugar, and salt. Just slightly. Just enough. Eat these cautiously and in moderation. Green light is fresh, natural, original foods. The way they are found in nature without extra ingredients. It is recommended we eat these every day. Minimize the use of fried, stir-fried, and other oil-based cooking methods, and I recommend you use the cooking method of green light foods. Now many have protested the green light food methodology. They say that these foods are not delicious. Indeed, I must admit, they may not be as delicious, but in order to stay as healthy and live a few more years, it is recommended that you gradually get used to the light, natural, unaltered flavor of fresh food. Do you understand the 3 method? Once again, four portions for each meal, and each portion of the meal has three possible levels of healthiness, red, yellow, and green. The goal is four portions, with each as green as possible. A healthy diet focuses first on healthy food for the body, followed by good taste for the mouth. So make sure it's healthy first. Of course, if you can do both, that would be great, wouldn't it? Over the past four years, I have visited Chongqing to teach almost a dozen classes, and each time I was invited to eat the famous hot pot. But every time, I silently smiled and sadly refused, because I wanted to insist on the healthy diet habit of 3333 and maintain the right balance of foods for my body and mind. Only. Over these past few years, I have only eaten hot pot one time, as a guest with my friends. My perspective is that hot pot is delicious, but in order to remain healthy and have more exuberant levels of energy, I still insist on the dietary principle of 3333. 3333 every day and keep your diet balanced and healthy. Eat well in the morning. Eat fully at night. I should say at noon and eat little at night. Maximize green light cooking and try to use fresh and natural ingredients. Does the 3-3-3-3 diet structure make sense to you? Share your thoughts with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash yishaoneng. These audio lessons are translated by Yishaoneng's partner Cece and then recorded by her husband Justin. I wish you great success today. See you tomorrow.